From flashy wild knockouts to super slick submissions, and even those times when fighters look like they're having a snooze fest in the octagon. These are the rare one in a billion UFC moments. Now, in UFC history, fans have seen loads of knockouts, some super fast, but just think about getting one of the quickest knockouts ever in your very first UFC fight. That's what happened at UFC 263. Terrence McKinney had his debut match against Matt Frivola. As soon as the bell rang and their gloves touched, T-Rex unleashed a lightning fast one-two punch combo that sent Frivola crashing to the mat. McKinney didn't stop there. He followed up with a barrage of punches until Frivola was out cold, all in just seven seconds. Frivola didn't even know what hit him, but neither did McKinney himself. Man couldn't believe he got such an amazing start in the UFC, scoring the second fastest knockout ever. Even more embarrassing than getting knocked out in just seven seconds is celebrating a fight that isn't actually over. See, at UFC 134, Husamar Palhares Tokinho was fighting Dan Miller. Palhares dominated the fight and got to a point where he had Miller down. Thinking he had won, Tokinho started celebrating like crazy. He raised his hands up high and even jumped onto the cage to show off to the crowd. But here's the thing. The fight wasn't over yet. The referee, Herb Dean, hadn't said it was done. With Miller back on his feet and ready to keep fighting, Dean had to stop Palhares' celebration and tell him to get back in the fight. Tokinho seemed confused, but had to focus again on the fight. When it started again, Miller showed he wasn't done yet by dropping Tokinho soon after. Ultimately, Tokinho was spared from the ultimate embarrassment when he won by decision. Speaking of winning, when it comes to winning fights, many people think that knocking out your opponent with a powerful punch or kick is the best way. But sometimes, a perfectly executed submission can be just as dangerous. Take UFC 140, for example, where the world witnessed one of the most brutal submissions ever. In this match, two of the greatest heavyweight submission artists in MMA history, Frank Mir and Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, faced off. Leading up to this fight, Mir had already broken the bones of two opponents. However, the odds of Mir submitting Nogueira, a legendary jiu-jitsu practitioner, seemed slim. But as soon as the fight began, Mir faced adversity. He was rocked and even had to defend against a guillotine choke attempt by Nogueira. However, Mir didn't back down. He managed to sweep Nogueira and transition to side control, where he locked in a Kimura submission hold. Despite Nogueira's attempts to escape by flipping Mir, the former two-time heavyweight champ stayed with him stepped over his head and twisted Nogueira's arms until his humerus bone snapped in two, pulling off one of the nastiest submissions you'll ever see. While Frank Mir's submission looks well executed and resulted in a nasty outcome, the next submission is arguably the most technically impressive move ever seen in the octagon. It all went down at UFC 216 during a title defense match between Demetrius Johnson and Ray Borg. Throughout the fight, Johnson dominated Borg for five rounds. However, with only two minutes remaining, Johnson seized the opportunity. He locked his hands, executed a flawless suplex on Borg, and as they descended, Johnson seamlessly caught Borg's arm, wrapped his leg around Borg's head, and smoothly transitioned into a tight armbar, all in one fluid motion. Johnson found his leverage and forced Borg to tap out. Not only was it one of the most brutal submissions witnessed, but it was also incredibly clean and visually striking, a true display of skill and finesse in the octagon. But then, let's talk about one of the greatest knockouts in UFC history, a knockout you only see once in a billion times. It all unfolded at UFC 244 in Madison Square Garden during a lightweight division clash. The matchup, featured former interim title challenger Kevin Lee against Gregor Gillespie, who boasted a perfect 13-0 record. As the fight started, both fighters remained low in their stances, exchanging punches right from the start. Gillespie managed to open a small cut under Lee's left eye. As they continued trading blows in the center of the cage, Lee suddenly unleashed a left high kick that switched off Gillespie's lights in an instant, sending the Long Island native crashing into the cage. What makes this knockout special is that Lee handed Gillespie his first career loss. 
suffering your first career loss in such a dramatic fashion, I'm sure Gillespie will be haunted by nightmares of that kick for life. But as impressive as Lee's kick was, it doesn't even come close to what happened next, because this next UFC star did it even better. At UFC 274, Michael Chandler squared off against Tony Ferguson in a highly anticipated bout. The matchup between the former Bellator MMA lightweight champion and El Kukui was one that had fans buzzing with excitement. There was a lot at stake too. Both men were coming off losses, and it was clear that while the winner would vault back into title contention, the loser's career might never truly recover. Early in the contest, it seemed like Chandler might be that loser. Ferguson took the fight to him in the first round, attacking Iron Mike with excellent strikes and outworking him even from the bottom, cutting him with his elbows. However, in the second round, El Kukui didn't even have time to get out of first gear. Chandler wasted no time, stepping right out, and before Ferguson could throw a punch, he delivered perhaps the most brutal front kick in MMA history. Iron Mike landed the kind of strike that most fighters only dream about, cleanly hitting Ferguson's chin and knocking him senseless into oblivion. Ferguson certainly didn't see that one coming. But sometimes, they say, expect the unexpected. And in the case of Jim Miller and Joe Lozon at UFC 155, even expecting the unexpected was not enough. When Jim Miller and Joe Lozon faced off at UFC 155, fans knew they were in for something special, and the fight delivered just that. In most fights, it's usually one fighter taking most, if not all, of the damage. But in this bout, both Miller and Lozon inflicted significant damage on each other. Right from the start, Miller wasted no time doing what he loves most on the feet getting into clinch range and throwing damaging shots. Miller's knees and elbows caused most of the early damage to Lozon, resulting in a river of blood flowing from Lozon's face. Despite being on the receiving end of much of the damage, Lozon managed to secure the top position in the second round to retaliate against Miller. However, Miller didn't let up and continued to inflict more damage on Lozon throughout the fight. In the end, Miller secured a unanimous 28-28 decision victory in a fight where both fighters suffered plenty of damage. But you see, the closest thing to the Matrix ever seen inside the Octagon happened at UFC 101, when Anderson Silva and Forrest Griffin squared off. At that time, Silva, now regarded as one of the greatest fighters in UFC history, was still trying to establish himself as a big-time draw. However, Griffin's size advantage and aggressive style posed a unique test for the spider. As soon as the fight began, Griffin charged forward with every attack, but Silva seemed untouchable. With his hands down by his sides, Silva slipped and dodged away from every strike attempt. Whenever Griffin got close, Silva would unleash a perfectly timed counter-strike, sending his opponent crashing to the mat. Despite Griffin's toughness keeping him in the fight, after enduring a third knockdown in just three minutes and 23 seconds of cage time, it became clear that Griffin couldn't endure any more punishment, prompting the referee to call off the fight. So, these are the rare one in a billion moments in the UFC. Which moments do you love the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for your support.